Crafty Zombie Mommy here with a resin update. Okay, I'm going to try to get this into one video, but if I can't, I'm going to do two. Okay, the first thing that I made, I made um, these, two, these two little skulls, and they do have the glow-in-the-dark um, Craft Smart glitter in it. And I'm going to turn these into earrings. Okay. Next thing that I have are these little flowers, and they also going to be turned into um, earrings. And I got these. Uh, I got the mold from a trade. Okay. Next thing that I have is I have a little foot, and this one. Um, it has the pearl powder and I also added some tinsel glitter and it's shiny because the mold is really really shiny so I really like this one I also made this little missile bomb and um, with the glow in the dark um, glitter also I um, need to make another one to put it together so it can be like a whole 3d mold okay um, I have these little glasses here, and I painted the inside black to look like shades. Um, I still need to glaze a lot of my pieces. Okay, next thing that I have are these. And these are from a mold that I made from an, a Monster High eraser that I bought in a three-pack. Okay. And they're and they're really small. Let's see, okay. Next thing that I made was this ice cream, and this is from the pink mold from Joann's. <clears throat> what I did was on the inside of the mold, it, it just has the indention of the shape of an ice cream cone with um, sprinkles. So what I did was I added a. a a really thin layer of resin in the line in the indention itself and then I added the sprinkles and I let it sit for about two three hours and then I added the white um, in the back to look kind of like a cake like cakey okay next thing that I made I made these uh, lips uh, with vampire fangs and I colored the inside here black so it looks like the shadows inside of a mouth and I used um, Martha Stewart cherry glitter also on these and these um, one just looks darker because I just used a little bit more glitter on that one okay and I made these right here and um, on this on these I added the um, white the pearl backing on them this one I also added the pearl backing but I did add tinsel glitter to it iridescent tinsel glitter and this one I only had a little bit of um, I added a little bit of glitter I didn't want too much glitter and I like how it all started to fall in the middle and then you can see like the iridescence in the back okay um, <clears throat> I have this little lion and the mold is shiny itself so it came out shiny I'm gonna turn this into a magnet and um, I love this one it has the green for grass and then I added the blue for night sky and like I said I'm gonna add, I need to dome the back and then I'll add a magnet here okay and um, next I made these picture frames and these frames are from the Martha Stewart the silicone molds that she has for her clay so I made a pink one and a white one and I still have to finish this I need to add a, a dome the back with a. I'm probably gonna put like a white in the back so you won't see the 
uh, picture, the sticker from the back, and then on the inside, and then the middle here, I need to add some um, resin to cover the picture. And there's been Mod Podge, as you can see, because there's the streaks. But once you put the uh, resin, you can't see that. And I put a hole, and then I'm gonna make it into a keychain for my mom. Okay, um. And this one was just a practice piece that I made. I wanted to see what um, alcohol ink looks inside of um, what the glit with the resin. So, as you can see, it is see through. Um, but I do like the way it came out. I just added a couple drops, and I do like the way it came out. Okay, um, I'm going to do one more piece because I don't want it to be too long. Okay, last piece that I'm going to show in part one is this star one. And it has a hamburger in the middle. And this mold has an indention of a star on there. Let me see. If you can see. <coughs> there. Okay, so now on to part two.